Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thunderpulse Gaming. This is Zoba Pulse, and we're here with Thunder. What up, Halo. guys? What if I told you, and I, I think I know what might have been the problem with your PS4. You remember when you had that PS4 trouble with the fan? Remember <laughs> I was telling you I yeah. was having PS4 trouble with the fan? Well, apparently, if you just give your PS4 console just a little bit shake... You might find out that it's not a operating as a gaming console, but it's also a motel for cockroaches. Oh my god, cockroaches. So, so to really cut this to chase, your PlayStation 4 is the go-to system for cockroaches because of its uh, hot power. So I noticed, this is one of the things that I'm just like, Wow. How, my question is, I get that cockroaches are small, but how the fuck do they get inside the system in the first place? That's, that's the thing that I've always wondered. Like, they're crawling in this hot spot. I think they don't realize that, you know, here's what's worse about it. When they get into the system, they're going to get zapped and they're going to die. So that's going to cause your system to probably have problems and sort of this, um, some traces. But apparently, um, roaches are one of the huge problems of this PS4 breakdown because it seems like the, the wide ventilation gate grate that's at the base of the machine offers a perfect entry for them. And it's cozy because of this, of how warm it is. Oh my so, god, nice and cozy warm. I'm going to go chill here as a cockroach. Yeah, so you might want to go check your system. Because they could be living in your system right now, Thunder. Just want to let you know. But um, a Matt Haddon based console repair store told the site that it has a bag full of dead cockroaches extracted from broken PS4 machines brought in by gamers. The stores receive a one, uh, at least one roach infested PS4 a week and now charges a $25 roach fee to deal with the case. Oh my god. So while cockroaches can happily enough can be in an Xbox, PS4 seems to be the console of choice because of the wider grade, um, and it's really not good. It's like I cannot imagine how gross that is. So. The independent console pairmen have the pleasure of scrubbing down roach crap. Off your console's power supply. Oh, oh God. Oh, boy. So, at the store, the staff opened up the PS4, removed the roach-related detritus, just sterilized the interior, and replaced any broken parts before putting it back together. Now, while you might think that's better to have roaches designed your PS4 rather than scurrying around your kitchen exploring your edibles, the likelihood is that they're in your gaming machine. There'll be a lot more of them in your kitchen. So, yeah, it's the best way to keep the critters out of your PS4 and all the rooms in your house. Just simply keep your living space as clean as you possibly can. Either that or put some cash aside for your local PS4 repair store. Now, one of the things I will say... Um, and this is actually what somebody else had mentioned as well, is, like, it doesn't really matter if your PS4 is... Um, it doesn't matter if your your place, say, for example, isn't uh, roach-infested. If you have neighbors that also have something roach-infested, that could also attract the cockroaches. So... It's a lose-lose. It's a lose-lose situation unless your neighbors are completely, you know, clean as well. So, I mean, one of my, uh, one of the friends that I follow on Twitter, Rich from Review Tech USA, was explaining this as well. How he was saying that, like, he has a situation where if neighbors were dealing with the cockroaches, it's very, very, very possible that they could end up at your place as well. So, um, the, uh, the, uh, the company, the Manhattan Independent Console Repair Shop, is called Excubable, and they pretty much deal with the local drop-offs of broken consoles and all this other stuff, and they're the ones that found this out. 
So they do a bunch of other stuff. They do coins inside disk drives, D 3DS mods gone wrong. And then it's obviously they do a whole wide of things. So eh, kind of a neat channel. But that's just fucking gross, man. What's next? Rats living in the systems now? Rats? No, no. I, or, I mean, small, small mice. Right. Apparently, now, I can't say that this is a huge, like, I don't know how, like, to, to really just close it off because there's not really much to talk about. I don't know how many PS4s out there are having this problem, but I think that this is a huge problem because Sony won't take them in for repairs, and then Sony apparently didn't even comment on this. But um, instead, you have these other people and these other companies, such as x or or Matt Zeminski, who works for the company, and it's just like, they they leave trace because their their poop color is distinct, and they have a certain smell to it. So, yeah, I, it's gross. It's gross. Is there anything else you want to say about this? Like, what if Eric found something that would make a good video? <laughs> but I I doubt the first PS4 I had had a cockroach. I doubt it because too, I you... did break it down and I didn't see nothing in it. So no, you're probably good. You're probably good, and I don't know about mine. But mine does need some cleaning. I hope I don't find anything like that. And Double will be out of PS4. No! Alright, well, I think it's time we end this video. There really isn't much to talk about. If you guys enjoy this video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Thunderpulse Gaming. There will be more commentaries and news topics in the future. If you guys enjoyed it, we'll talk to you soon. Any last words, Thunder? Roach-free problem, please. All right, and as always, TPG out, and goodbye. Later!